No, I'm not going to carry you. No, I told you to bring your stool. No, it's not going to happen. No, I said no. no. God damn it. So, Peter flew all the way over here from Connecticut, staying a few days at my house, and he's going to be making his uh, tour around the Wetchaken community. And we, we, we haven't been getting along this trip. He's very needy. He's very needy this time. He doesn't like to do nothing for himself. I'm carrying him right now. The fucking nerve you have. No. No. I am going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. No, listen. Listen. I told you. This this label is unbecoming. It's unbecoming of you. And just a, a few months after I, I stated that you were the uh, producing the best labels in wet shaving, you do this to me. It's embarrassing. No, 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 no. Don't, don't even look at me. No, don't look at me like that. It is embarrassing. It is absolutely embarrassing. And I, I'm not going to take this anymore. So you are going to be in timeout. You're going to go sit down over there. So if you don't already know, and I didn't even get to do my intro because P little Peter is bugging. So if, if you guys haven't uh, already seen or realized or looked at the damn title of the video, today we're going to be doing Under the Sea. Or undersea, or I'm not exactly sure what the name of this so this this thing is. I, I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't have the the the, the damn uh, name of the soap on the label. It just has this. This now, not everything is all bad with this soap. It is a fantastic aquatic scent. Um, thank you for indulging me for for those few minutes there. It's a fantastic uh, aquatic scent done by Ariana Nevins and Little Peter. No, nope, you're not coming back on camera. You will sit there. Stay down. <sighs> Sorry, he's needy. Needy, needy, needy. So, um, and he was at Ray's house. If you're not part of the Lather and Blade Facebook group, you haven't seen all the hijinks that's been going on with Little Peter. The, the Him and Ray Pope had an absolute blast. So, if you're interested in seeing the adventures of Little Peter, join the Lather and Blade Facebook group. The link is down below. And this is only the beginning. I'm barely his second stop on his world tour. We're going to see Little Peter in Canada, Australia, and throughout the whole United States. It's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. I don't know. I think his wife got tired of him. Um, she got tired of him fucking up all the shipping stuff inside of the Ari Ariana Nevins facility. And I think she sent him away. She just wanted some peace and quiet. And I, and I get it now. I totally get it. Totally get it. So let me get into it. I have been blooming the puck. Ariana and Evans being as thirsty as it is, I always bloom it. It just is what it is. You could agree with it or not. I don't care. But that is my process. Today, I'm actually going to use PAA's uh, Chill Mill. It is hot as shit in this restroom. And I need a little something to cool me off. So we're, we're going to... Uh-oh. I'm a little stuck. There we go. There's a... Uh... This is a couple, but not a lot of it gets in there. There we go. You gotta shake it loose a little bit. It gets a little stuck in there. That's the little problem with all these crystals and stuff. They get a little wonky. So, added a good amount of uh, crystals there. I hope that's not too much, but we shall see. But it's just hot, and I needed something to cool me off, man, because it's pretty miserable in this uh, in this damn uh, restaurant right now. You know what? We all know Kaizen's one of the best formulas, if not the best formula. It's the best, in my opinion. In, in the industry, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do some of the mentholated cube. This is not a new formula to me. Yes, Peter, I know. I know you want me to show how great your soap is, but I, I want some menthol. I'm going to add some shit. It's okay. Don't feel threatened. <sighs> God. Little Peter just... He doesn't let me get into a flow. I feel like I, I just haven't gotten to like the full steam ahead because he just keeps bugging. He just keeps bugging. Um, he makes a lot of weird noises at night. It's just, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to feel about it. I definitely probably got to get him set on his way sooner than later. So today I'm going to be using my Heritage Collection Shaving Double Duck with the Heritage Gel Knot. It is a dense, beefy-ass knot. So, oh... I put a lot of menthol. I feel it on my face uh, from the mentholated cube, and it's definitely in this uh, soap now. I, I gone and done it now. Now I'm not one of them sissies who's like, 
I can't see because of the menthol, but I definitely feel it. This is a lot. Pairing this, now that I'm mixing this up and I have the mentholated cube, is definitely kicking, which is great. Cool. I hope it gets nice and chilly in here. I will have these scent notes, I hope, down below. If not, it is an aquatic scent. I don't know everything that rounds out the scent, but it is really, really good. I'm really impressed with this uh, aquatic scent. So, get right into it. You're definitely going to need more water. I loaded nice and heavy. I'm going to make a complete mess of myself here. Again, that's okay too. Very nice. There's not, I swear. Because it's so dense, you definitely feel the pressure of it on your face. But in terms of feeling any type of texture, anything, nothing. The tips on this thing are so soft, you literally do not feel any type of abrasiveness. Zero. On your face. It is an absolute cloud. And again, because it's dense, you know, you got to put a little effort in, into it. But damn, it is just so damn pillowy soft. And these are translucent colors from Harry's collection. They're badass, dude. They are completely badass. I love them. I think that is enough water. Again, I'm not going for a bunch of volume. I just want nice, hydrated goodness in here. Dude, it was good to see. Again, if you're not a member of the Lather and Blade Facebook group, you're missing out. Yesterday, we had a live done by Steve uh, Walker and YouTube uh, OG legend, Jammin G.I. James. Really cool to see him. Viejo, if you're watching, got love for you, man. Thank you for popping in. It's just a real pleasure to have you, man. I love you being a part of the, of the group. So today, the razor is going to be the Blackland uh, razor. Blackland Blackbird. You guys can see that real nice. This is my first time using the Blackland Blackbird razor. This was sent to me by my buddy Eriberto Maya. Eriberto, thank you so much for allowing me to use this razor. Um, it's just and nobody, I never bought it. Nobody ever offered it to me before. So I just have not used it. So I'm pretty excited. I love using all these different razors, including DEs. I don't discriminate against DEs, man. So let's see. Ooh, the coolness is kicking in. Love it. So let's go. I have a first use Gillette Silver Blue. This razor will get at least a couple uses before, before I send it back to Eriberto because I want to get it paces just really experience it right off right off the bat I do I like the amount of blade feel but I also feel like I see I get get a little bit of play in the razor I hope that's not the case tightening it up real good I don't want to break nothing but I do feel that there's a little bit more play in the razor than I would like I'm just dripping all over the place with this damn soap very, very nice. Well, so I got a little bit of a feel for the for the razor. Now I could go a little bit quicker now on these these other passes here. This first dominant side for me is usually gonna is usually the little warm up just so I can get a feel. I have been told in the past that this is an aggressive razor. I definitely don't want to be careless with it. Definitely got to show it some respect. These DE blades will bite you. Damn, look, I just got shit all over the place. So let me rinse real quick. Mm -hmm. Ugh, got a little bit of the menthol in my mouth. Ugh, gross. All right, that's not great. That, that wasn't great. I definitely would have preferred that that didn't happen. There we 
go. Beautiful. The amount of water that I added in during the first time is keeping the second one perfect. I won't have to add any additional water from this point. At least I shouldn't. Possibly the third one I might get a little bit because it did run down the, left, the handle a little bit, but this one feels great. Yes, Peter, promise me, the, the leather looks good. Stop. Stop bothering me. Jesus. Very nice. It feels like an efficient razor. It definitely feels efficient. To me, it doesn't feel overly aggressive. It is known to be on the aggressive side. Oh. I wouldn't classify it with like the R41 or the Paradigm, uh, but it, the, the original Paradigm the uh, Titanium Razor, that one was extremely aggressive on that one. You felt a lot of blade gap. You felt a lot of blade feel, and it just felt like a lot to deal with. This one, doesn't feel like too much. One thing though, I do feel like it has a little bit more blade chatter than I would like in a design. Like you guys can hear it, right? It sounds like it's really doing some shit. And I did do a conscious thing of uh, changing the way I'm doing it, just, just to try something different. Um, usually I go with the grain, against the grain, across. Today I'm going across, and then I'll go against the grain on the very last one. Just to see kind of what gets me the best results with it. And I'll, honestly, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference anyways, but we're going to see. The soap is providing all kinds of slickness. Great. Oh, the brush felt like an ice cube touching my face right there. Super cold. It's been a while since I've cleaned out my brushes, man. So I actually just put in an order for PAA. Uh, I got the Immortal Peach coming. And I got the brush cleaner. So I'm going to clean every brush. Every brush is going to get a nice thorough cleaning. Um, this has been a long time. I know a few of the, obviously a few of the knots are pretty new. But even when I cleaned them originally, it was just with shave soap. I didn't do the actual cleaning soap. And I really, really love the PAA uh, so, uh, brush cleaner. So I haven't had it in a while. So that's why they haven't got really washed, washed like, like they're supposed to. You don't rub you don't rub lotion on your body and say, hey, babe, I'm clean. No, you gotta fucking go in there and scrub. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, third and final pass. <laughs> it almost it almost sounds like there's no hair cutting right here because it's gone. It is super gone. This is a super efficient razor. It's pretty impressive how efficient it is, actually. Up until about right here, I could almost hear no hair. Right there, I feel a little bit, which is normal. That's usually my rough spot, but damn. That's pretty good, dude. This is a pretty damn nice, efficient razor. The handle. This handle also, I don't know how I feel about it. It feels a little slippery. See, look at it. It has this, this just cut in line knurling. I think they could have did a better job with that doing something. What? I don't know. I don't design razors. I don't have all the answers. Um, but some diagonal pattern, something would have be, gave me better grip. It's nice. You feel the texture. But simply when your finger's wet and my hands are not that wet, it, it, it slides. So I'm not a, not a huge fan of that. I do support the razor when it's in hand here. Uh, going with, with some of these strokes, but when I'm against the grain, it, it just slides all the way down to that knob and the knob stops it But still I don't like that lack of control that it's sliding back and forth. So uh, that, that that the handles a, is a is a negative This head though whew, Jesus 
And again, what a nice combination. Something, uh, a soap that is so slick and protective. And yes, I do believe in cushion. Chris Bailey. If the ra if the razor, the straight razor, if it feels the exact same on your face, just the feel of it, pushing it, pressing it to your face, if it feels exactly the same without so without soap than it does with soap, um, that's a problem. That that's something that is a problem. The cushion that I feel is that difference in the face feel in terms of just having the razor pressed to your face. That's where that's where I think the easiest way to to explain what cushion is, because yeah. Water literally will give you enough slickness to be able to do passes. But the feel of the razor on the face, that I think is going to be attributed to nice cushion in the soap. And the cushion on this soap, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Whew. Fucking love that shit. This is a good shave, man. This is a good shave. I haven't had too many DE shaves recently, but shit, this head is pretty damn nice. The handle, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I am going to give this a few more uses. The handle sucks. I don't like this fucking handle. Probably going to throw this head on some other handles to see, but I, I don't like the handle at all. The handle has, um, I think it has some real design flaws. Just again, I don't know if they copped out. I don't know if they thought it'd work or who the fuck they were using. Maybe they have some rough farmer's hands from working on the fields uh but i mean no i have a normal man's hands um and it's just it's not very it's not grippy enough it's not grippy enough again when you're holding it here look at and i'm not gripping super hard but i shouldn't have to and with some better knurling that won't happen well, let me let me show you let me show you let me show you nothing and i guarantee i promise you i hope you trust me um I'm holding it just as hard. And you'll see it going down little by little, but much slower because of the nerd. Um, so again, you either think I'm a fucking jackhole for doing that or, or not, but um, love the head design so far, at least the efficiency of the razor. Um, I definitely, in the coming up shaves, I definitely got to pay attention to uh, how that head feels in terms of it's really just chatter or because i have so much blade feel i just notice it more so again that's going to be a focus in the, in the next couple uses on this one but let me go ahead and rinse this off and then we'll get into the final thoughts of the soap all right and we are back i'll tell you i don't use menthol very often it's pleasant in use but rinsing it tasting all on my lips and mouth not the best situation not the best situation i'd rather go without that but you know alas here we are um the soap hideous label i no i told you i have to be honest in these reviews i don't care i love you but no ugliest label i've ever seen it's awful i don't care how famous this guy is i do not like this label design with that being said i'm probably gonna peel this damn label off draw a little fishy on it and it'd probably be better for my liking um soap it's a fantastic aquatic cassette if you like aquatics you like something bright and just something that's going to carry you through the summer or these hot months and in california it is hot as shit um this is definitely going to be a soap that you're going to enjoy and we all know by now if you're watching this you've probably already tried the kaizen base the kaizen base is fucking amazing uh, I've, I've just been happy oh and i almost forgot it's time for the inspector's aftershave hour. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of Gardens of Gardens of Bali. This is the old Gardens of Bali aftershave. I got in the new one with soap, which is gonna be a Patreon giveaway. And guys, that was uh, donated by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Um, again, thank you, Doug and Fran, for that. But we'll get into that in the next in that video. Um, but damn it, this was a very very good uh, shave, man. I, I'm I'm satisfied. That combination with this soap. That razor, the brush, everything, it just hit all the marks. So, thank you, you know. So, if you guys made it up to this point of the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Ken, shout out to Ken. He loves that part. I think this, this is the most, the favorite part for Ken in the videos. I think he probably even just fast forwards to about the 20 minute mark so that he can see this portion. But again, yes, if you made it to this point, I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys for all your continued support. Um, I really can't even, I can't articulate how much 
the community means to me and everything you guys have done for me. So just thank you so much. Um, it's a crazy world. Take care of each other. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll catch you on the next shave.